hello students hello viewers and we are back to uh, to the to the hall where we have uh, the classroom uh, setup so uh, welcome to this video and in this video uh, which is part of a word a day we are going to look at the word c a n t e e n now you may be wondering why i first uh, spell out the word and then i uh, you know i i pronounce it i divide that into uh, then i divide that into syllables and then i pronounce it so the the, I, the entire idea is this that uh, you should not be biased towards the pronunciation of a word before you hear it so you know to remove that bias uh, i'm 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 actually uh, pronounce i mean i mean spelling it out first and uh, one interesting fact that i that i saw that day when i was uh, uh, watching the indiana jones series in uh, in amazon prime was that uh, professor dr jones uh, dr indiana jones has the same problem almost as the same problem as me i mean problem uh, academic problem as 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 i have uh, of course no no comparisons but still i mean i'm not comparing myself with him but the point is he uh, uh, if i'm right uh, in the movie the raiders of the lost ark uh, he uh, you know he he has a problem with spelling so uh, even i have a problem with spelling because my uh, you know my my research deals entirely with the syllable and with sounds and uh, in fact i i uh, no i have to catch up uh, my reading on uh, the spelling and on morphology anyway that was the ad autobiographical part sorry i got a bit autobiographical in, uh, in the initial uh, you know in the first 2 minutes so this is the uh, word that you look at uh, by the by if you are if you are wondering uh, which scene uh, we are talking about after the first 10 minutes uh one she retrieves the <coughs> the uh the idol of the goddess from peru uh from uh, the temple uh he goes back to his college and he's teaching when marcus brody uh, enters okay just before marcus brody enters he's you know he's having a problem with the you know with the spelling okay so let's uh, come to this uh, so this is the word that we are looking at and it divides itself into two syllables syllable 1 can syllable 2 teen so the first syllable is can the second syllable is teen and it divides itself like this so this is how we can show the division okay now observe please listen to my pronunciation the way i pronounce it can teen can teen can teen can teen okay if i if you are clear about that uh, if you notice the second syllable is stressed canteen canteen now i said something yesterday uh, you know i said why do we say that this particular uh, uh, you know uh, uh, word is divided here why is it that the syllable division occurs here why can't it be ca in teen okay it's a very valid question but look at the uh, transcription it's can teen it's canteen and the in and ter is not an onset so in ter sorry i should show an onset like this it is not a valid onset not a valid onset that is in and ter cannot occur before this vowel sound e okay so let us call this vowel sound e let us represent it by the vowel sound the the letter v v, v means vowel so these two uh, there cannot be this c cannot come before this consonant cannot come before th okay okay there is a logic for that now you may ask okay in th is not uh, you know a valid onset what is a valid onset i'll give you a valid onset so th let me start this which means that it's not a valid onset let me give you a valid onset st like in stool okay st like in story all right so uh, it has to be a valid onset if it has to occur within the syllable so the syllable division occurs here okay so canteen and this is the since th this is how we mark the uh, you know the the stress syllable and so teen is the stress syllable okay all right so it cannot divide itself like this okay or it it can divide itself like this can't in this is valid because i'll tell you why because inter is a valid coda inter is a valid coda by valid we mean it is permissible it is allowed okay it is it is legally allowed in in english 
okay let's talk about this validity and legal uh, allowance and, and all later okay uh, so it's a valid coda okay so it is not a valid onset it's a valid coda now don't jump to a conclusion anything which is not a valid onset is a valid coda no it's not true okay so we we'll look at the onsets and codas later but <clears throat> that we need a separate video for that so there we are the word is canteen and uh, uh, the, the the second syllable is stress let me you know just just rub this off so that you are clear about uh, so that you are clear about what word we are dealing with today we dealt with a lot today we are looking at the onset and coda uh, uh, codas uh, coda clusters of of uh, of english but this is the point okay all right if this is clear then we can uh, we can close the video here so yeah sorry about that uh, there is a small I, I i think i have to attend to the door just a minute all right people so there we end the video so the the word is uh, for today is canteen we discussed a bit about uh, onsets uh, and coda clusters but then you know it's 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 a it's a separate it's a subject which has to be dealt with separately okay so keep practicing and please keep asking your questions thank you and see you in the next video